what's going on YouTube, I'm here. Welcome back to more Vampire Walkthrough that I'm doing. I hope you enjoyed it so far, as much as I have. It's been a light game. The only thing I don't understand, I understand it now, the only thing I don't really agree with is how everyone's dead. Because it's a trick question. The uh, choices you get are tricks. There's only one right thing you can do with the two people you have to do out with. Obviously, so with Nurse Crane, the three choices that you get are you spare her, you, you kill her, or you wipe her memory. I chose wipe her memory. I thought, okay, nothing wrong doing that. Turns out that's the wrong thing to do. You meant to let her let her live and retire. If you uh, kill her, the life district thing goes right down. And if you spare her and wipe her memory, she basically turns to a vampire anyway, or a scowl, and kills the entire neighborhood. So, the only one way to do that is to wipe, um, let her live completely and let her retire. And as of the, the vicar, you don't kill him, you don't spare him, you um, have to turn him into a vampire. It's locked, all right. <laughs> And it would be the only way she can do it, otherwise they kill the entire neighbourhood. I don't get why it happens, but it does. I had like to Google it just to find it out. But anyway, as of today's video, I'm going to be going after the sister. Hopefully I'm strong enough to do it now. I mean... If I'm not, I'll have to come and kill the rest of these people. I'm not about to cure it today. Let's see what I can do for XP before I go over there. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Oh, but I don't my uh, guns or whatever. Do you need my medical attention, dear colleague? I would have been confused if anyone other than you had asked that question, Dr. Reed. But your help is welcomed. There is no shame in helping each other. We're colleagues, after all. Many doctors I have known are too cynical to think that way. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I'm going to try and find my for that. Not much, but it's just something. I mean, I would kill her to get expected, but then I kind of... Obviously, because she's going to the black guy that sells you things. The mill one, I think, there is. So if I kill her, he's probably going to want revenge. I'll so have to kill him too. Well, I haven't got any other merchants to buy things off yet, so... Alright, let's look see what I've upgraded. I've given myself, myself a bit stronger to be fair, give myself some more powers. So hopefully I'm actually stronger to beat this time. Another 20, I've got a bit more blood. Got some more powers, so. Upgraded a couple more powers. I got a lot of ammo as well, so. Should be alright to take a one. Should be okay. It's already level 5. Oh shit, it's level 5 already. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, I've got for reasons to what I can decide to do. Because I'm just down by 10%. Well, it's not going to make a difference because I have to do this on here, so. I had 5 stun points when I'm checked. I, was I can't do that. seconds to reload time though. I'll just load one bit at a time. Mm. 
I'll write that. Oh, I could do with some more trigger parts. I'm going to answer this email one because I'd rather be completely ready to take a one. I'm not ready at all. I think I just want to kill the entire hospital. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, where's Milton? Where's your hospital, miss? Oh, your boyfriend. Oh, here he is. Jenny Merchant got left. Good evening. Left one died. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Very good trigger parts. Ah, there you go. Um, okay. I'll buy that. I've got like a thousand. Oh my, I've got one hundred and fourteen to be exact. So I'll buy them. Might need them. Uh, don't know if I need any of that. Don't need bullets, still plenty of them. I like that, might need it. Did they really just touch me? I'm doing 10 for fucking some screws. Jeez. Upgrade the pistol a little bit, just one level, so. Or is something else I can use against the because I've got plenty of bullets, I think. Yeah, plenty of bullets. So I'll make sure that is Tom's revolver, and I'll use revolver. Sounds there. Oh, sweet. Alright, we're gonna let him as well. <laughs> Bastard. I need some more trigger parts, but that should be enough anyway. It's level 3 anyway, so...
this off. Alright, let's get to it then. It'll take a while to get over there, I think. Actually, no, I'm going to go this way. Same if it's dead already. It doesn't really hint you what you're meant to do. I'll just kill Ram just to get my blood completely maxed out. I can't believe I'm doing this. Don't make me waste my bloody blood. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to kill the, the guy straight away. Right? Right, she's got first now. Guys, she is quite difficult to beat, especially on hard mode. What were these greys meant to mean? Oh yeah, Joe Peterson. I killed him. I, I killed him. And I killed him as well. And that's the people I killed. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I killed quite a few of these people. I can't get what that. I was just hoping I'm strong enough to be here. Is this here? Yeah. It's a mark I'm seeing. I mean, I don't know why this is all there for. Ah, that's a mark I want to move. And that marker. Alright, guys. Wish me luck.
brother! What have you done?
Did it first time with my powers. <laughs> All my new powers. Lovely. <laughs> well, brother. It's time to bring this conversation to an end. Forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. Do I get a choice? I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare. No dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. Once it may just do it. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Then, at last, I can forgive you. I'll just walk the body now. I mean, I probably could have bit yesterday about the extra powers, but I was that tired yesterday. To be fair, barely sleeping. Really. But not a lie, you need that power where it blocks anything, any attacks coming in. Like, I mean, it's so much easier having the extra powers. Like, and how you do it is when she's doing the red thing is. Just so you want to not lock on and just keep running away from her. When she's trying to attack you, that red is when you lock on and you just attack her pretty much whatever you can. Just don't be careless enough to run out of stamina like I do sometimes. Oh, trophy, how merry. You know, you just take the time of it, really. Use your powers when you can. Try to use your blood to heal yourself as much as you can. So don't waste that on doing your powers all the time. Use your ones that don't really cost much. And you can, obviously when she's doing the red thing, you can attack her then when you have that shield thing on. Obviously yesterday I didn't have that, but I let it straight away today. That was my first time doing it this morning. <laughs> I literally recorded two videos yesterday of me just going around, living up my characters, well, my characters, my character, trying to um, make myself stronger, because I knew the character I had at the time wasn't strong enough, like Jonathan that was. But now, no new powers, be right away. As I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister, I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire. Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this Who is that epidemic. Guy there? I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. They yeah, have a lot in the district. I stand. Have this one, I don't fucking kill them all or cause them to all die. I'm some <laughs> making the wrong decision this time. Uh, that'd be nice. Oh, 
Oh, we're right now. Oh, no, hold up. I understand. Sweet. I mean, the whole of that district's there, dead. The whole land is dead. Pretty much. Look, guys, I'm, I don't know how long it's been since. Well, I just got. Why am I hearing scowls? There shouldn't be any more scowls over here. in the doctor's office. That's that's even real close. Is it in the doctor's office or something? I can hear it, it's bugging me. It's locked. I ain't gotta come see him obviously then. as soon as possible. The situation is evolving very quickly in the West End, and I'm convinced we are all now in great danger. Ricardo Prewen has launched a great hunt in London, and for a few nights they have been actively searching and killing Econ, or any Econ they can locate. Lord Redgrave, chairman of the Ascon Club, recently contacted me. He wishes to meet you immediately. Please come to my mansion. Any night suits you, we must discuss all of this. This letter, you will find an official pass that will allow you to go through a barricade. Through any barricade of quarantine. Of oh, quarantine, let's just say. Checkpoint. Throughout the city. Friend, Lady Ashbury. Oh, sweet. Not that far, so we'll go this way.
vamos a ver si, a ver si está ahí. Faster that sword. <laughs> Don't know why my PS4 ever died then. Literally, when I died, I can't remember a patient error. <laughs> this game it was a lot like that, actually. Don't think it's anything to my network, it's just downloaded the game.
So I'm going through it, it's like it's a war between vampires and the hunters. It's annoying having that, I keep popping up like that. No, there's no, there's no one there, like. I'm say. Just kill them all. Jeez, it is as well. That's an old car. Fucking hell. That's not something I always used to draw as a kid. <laughs> So this, this is where she lives. What a splendid house. I'm going to load the screens again. As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. I wonder if she actually, um... Actually does know... The guy turned it, Jonathan, instead. Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? My sister Mary, she was made a vampire in the same way I was. 
She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying. And I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you reached this conclusion? I don't know, man. Is he a devil or something because he's got horns and shit? I felt this power radiating like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. He is the only immortal I've seen appear in an ethereal form. His voice, his words seemed ancient. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon proves that you must be of ancient lineage. Uh, she was extremely powerful for a newborn. I mean, very. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. I must say, your house is exquisite. Beautiful, isn't it? One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down. But I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. So just smell it and that's it. <laughs> Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly? Did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Who are they? Really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. How many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Will they fight the guard of Prewen? 
I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprived them of a powerful weapon. Why use you to contact me? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first. But it is only logical, considering the critical situation in London. Why not ask for your help? Since you are obviously a powerful and influential immortal yourself. You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon. For I am a woman. That suits <laughs> me well, as long as they leave me alone. Because she's a woman, she's invisible, and I don't want nothing to do with it. Basically, <laughs> okay. Should I trust them? Of course not. Do not misunderstand me. They can be very useful, but I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city without their consent. They could be powerful allies in this current situation. Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. It falls to you to choose your behavior. The most important rule is to show them due respect. They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. I sprang out of order. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. This means he's extremely powerful. How powerful is his reach? The Ascalon Club may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals, but they are all very powerful. They are not all immortals? How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the Empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most relentless British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite, but we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind, and they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. Will the Guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. 
I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. They are a resourceful lot. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. Yeah, a queen awake, so what all that thing was about. What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. Why start a second one? Prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic. Well, they're just jealous of your immortality. How did you survive the first hunt? I fled, Jonathan. Like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? No. I doubt it. If Lord oh, Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. My fault exactly. What is the plan? The plan is we both try to save this city, you and I. Go to Ascalon, accept their proposition, and use their influence to promote your agenda. How can I save London? The epidemic is the priority. You must find its origin and put an end to it. This is the best way to solve the crisis. What will you do? I still have contacts and old friends in this town. I shall make some inquiries and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. Will I ever discover the identity of my maker? Maybe not, Jonathan. We know for sure you were made by a powerful vampire. But most of those fled England long ago. Please forgive my bluntness, but I have to ask. Was it you? Did you make me? Oh, Jonathan. I know you shall always have a gnawing doubt about who made you an immortal. But I swear, I had nothing to do with it. You have no idea at all? You seem to know so many things about the secrets of the vampire underworld. Even if I had my suspicions, I would not dare give you a name so soon. All I can say is this. I will make inquiries and keep you informed. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No. You will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. When will we meet again? As soon as you meet Lord Redgrave, I suppose. Fear not, my dear. I shall only be a heart's beat away. Will you not visit Pembroke again? No. I must remain discreet and avoid attracting attention to Pembroke Hospital for the time being. But how will you sustain yourself? I shall not, Jonathan. Fear not. I'm used to it. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor? 
and call me Elizabeth. I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature. But this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. Oh. Cute, these two are, aren't they? I don't know if they should get married, mate. You got a nice big house. <laughs> oh, guys, give me a second. I'll quit on the toilet. I to rush to evolve. Um, well, not to go to my stack house first, ever. So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. First, I'm going to my safe house. Don't freeze on me again, please. Me, mate. I'm more powerful than you are. Just try to fight me, you don't have a chance. See?
I kill you. I'm much more powerful than that little simple vampire. Now you're fucking it, blimey ads. It's me, you and I, boy. I thought that pass got me through the barriers. my safe house. I just hear. I cannot enter. Hell form does up so. Large base. I dug out across them. to end. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Is everyone already dead? You're weak. <laughs> Fucking stamina, man. This is stupid. You know, it's made by an Asian vampire, but yeah. It's killed because the stamina runs out. <laughs> I was trying to get in that fucking thing. That vampire caught me by surprise then.
Where's this one, mate? Oh, back over here. I was trying to get to get over to, to get to that. Fuck off, Ben. Trying to have a look at that. I keep putting my put my analog onto that. I would have killed them oh, I was killing them again then. Feed on blood, might as well. Oh yeah! Hit by a fucking vampire power, he hits me straight away, so the guy gets up. He's dead. That's what you Fuck, come on, man, just die already. I use my power, man. I actually press the power. Yeah. What? I said, I mean, I, I, I didn't even get a chance to get out of the wave of that. I don't get. A sh I didn't even get a chance. Like, what the fuck? Honestly, that was stupid. I've done my power. And it, 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 as soon as I fucking think it, he jumps straight on top of me. I'm gonna stab it off. I need to help up a bit. Look, I, I don't know how, like, look, look at this here. What the, uh, the fact that he, he jumped on top of me, uh, before my power even finished, before I was even back up of the ground, he recovered that quick. I didn't even get a chance to move out of the way or nothing. But I was, get, I don't even know what happened there, that is just, that's just stupid days. I'm not gonna sh fucking defeat fucking the, his sister. I know what, but I get bullshitted out of that. What the hell was that about, man? I'm trying to rescue that guy thing. I don't know what I got, what I'm meant to actually do, but I've been rescued someone. Well, that's where I meant to actually go. I, mean, I don't even know why these vampires actually bleed. Why are they attacking me for? Ah, oh, but I do have a gun. That's handy. Forgot I had that gun. So this is probably going to spawn me all the way over. I just spawned as well, so I have to go all about my throw again. I'm going to want to try and get to the safe house. Oh, I'm back here again. I ain't bother fighting them guys over again. No point.
first, I'm going to my safe house. Which is through there. How many vampires have got to fight, man? What have I got to fight them for? Kind of meant to be on the same side, aren't we? Hammers out of it. You know, I'm created by an Asian vampire, but my stamina gets me killed. Reload, man, already. Right. Can I reload or what? Dying this time. I need to put pistol where it reloads. Fucker. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need help, sir? I think I'm fine. But what happened to my jailer? Be careful. He's as vicious as he is strong. You don't have to worry about him anymore. What happened here? I am Tadao Kimura. I was imprisoned by this lunatic for several days. I thought I was going to die here. You're not going to die now, Mr. Kimura. If you hurry, you should be able to get home safely. It seems that I owe you my life. You have all my gratitude, Dr. Reed, since it is the most precious thing I possess. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. Safe house now. We've got a vine for the other vampire now. Alright, let's put the pistol on. Um, change. No bullets. Oh, I've got bullets that one though. Okay, but it's the same bloody type of handgun, but, got, but it's that, but not that. That makes no sense.
Okay, I'm getting hit before I even get up. I hate when he does that, man. What is that about? How did I even die to that? I did my power and I get, I, I get, as soon as I get up, before I even get up, I'm getting poisoned. Before I even, I don't even have a chance to get away from it. What the hell, man? I like the power, but it is bollocks. It leaves you vulnerable for a second when you're getting up, man. And that second they take you, vampires. I don't know what it is. Don't make me start all over that bit again when I've got to kill the other vampire. I only want to try to get to my safe house. That's all I want to do is get to the safe house. That's all I want to do. So I can save it there. <laughs> I just want to get to my safe house so I can <laughs> save it there. End the video and do it. Do the next Ascalon thing in the next video. That's all I want to do. I shouldn't have to kill the vampire again now anyway. These long ass loading screens are annoying though, aren't they? Sorry for you guys, you can just skip it for like 2 to 10 seconds, but I have to sit and wait. <laughs> Alright, where's it spawning this time? Ah, back here, okay. Yeah, come and take me, come on. I'm poisoned already. What the fuck? I'm poisoned. My health is going down. What the fuck is this shit? Look, I'm dead. What the hell? I'm dying. I, I can't do anything. I can't stop it. I'm look. I just wanted to get to my safe house. That's all I want to do is get to my safe house. I can't. It won't even let me get to my safe house because I'm trying to fight them. And I'm, po I'm being poisoned the second I can even get there. What the hell is this about, like? <laughs> Jeez. Alright. And then it's literally respawning back in hardly any blood. I just want to get to my safe house, that's all I want to do. I have to go through here to get to my safe house. But no, I'm killed by... Look, don't poison me again. Look, I'm poisoned already. Whoa, what is, po what is poison me? And now I'm going to die because the stamina's already gone already. Poison shit. That's one dead. You dead yet? Oh. Now you're dead. Thank you, I got through it eventually. <laughs> Where's the safe house? For this door? No. Through here? Where the hell's my safe house then? So there's me trying to fight through here, and that's not everyone my safe house is. Oh, up there, okay. I uh, didn't see that. Who could have done such an evil thing? Poor Miss Reed. 
I'll see if it's alright. Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan. I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, you have come back too late, sir. Far too late. I know, Avery. I know about Mary and my mother. I'm so sorry. It was my duty to watch over her. She left the house in the middle of the night. The police said... It's all right, Avery. The police said her body was found near your sister's grave in Whitechapel. You're the master of the house now. I'd understand if you fired me, sir. Do you need medical attention, Avery? I won't refuse, sir. I don't feel that good these days. Here is your prescription. You'll feel better soon enough. Thank you very much, sir. What is the situation in this part of town? For a time, the West End seems spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead, and I've never met my nephews. I'll stay, sir. I'm sorry I could not be here for Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir. But your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I'm sorry I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. How was life in this house while I was away? It was sad, sir. Miss Mary moved here in July after she lost her baby and husband. So I stayed to serve both her and your mother. How was my mother? Miss Reed was very frail. After Miss Mary was found dead, your mother started talking to herself. She said she was speaking to the dead. She even said that she had seen you. How was Mary? Miss Mary went out looking for you every night after you had written to say that you were coming back. She was sure you were alive. She'll never know she was right. Oh, she does. What are the arrangements for my mother's funeral? There will be no funeral, sir. No ceremony whatsoever because of the sanitary situation. Where is her body then? I'm afraid your mother's body was moved to a mass grave somewhere. I have no other information. Civil service is paralyzed, sir. London is crumbling down. Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. And I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. You have served this family extremely well, Avery. Your support during these terrible times is much appreciated. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. Do you really think I neglected my mother, Avery? Yes. I see. 
Well, please go on, speak freely. It's not as if there is anything left to treasure in this house. Just like your father, you always had this capacity to focus only on what interests you. It surely helped you become a great doctor, but not such a great son. Thank you, Avery. We'll talk later. Your bedroom is ready as always. Good night, sir. Oh, sir. What a terrible <laughs> tragedy. It's locked. Locked in my own house. I'll go right this way instead of going down short of the door. house now so I'll just take what I can. Quick look around and I'm in the video then. So I can it's locked alright. Nice. nice house. Do anything on here? I oh, I can. Oh, hang on, hang on. That's what I was looking at on there. Peace. No, I need rivets. Wait, oh, how it's pronounced? Oh, what's that? What have I examined? I never have quite enough to do, <laughs> to do with that one, man. What's that one? That's what I'll do then. Oh, stable in the, in the city now, okay. Serious, but look at like your people there. He died, but I don't know how he died. Just did. 
still ain't found out yet. And I guys, I'm gonna leave it for today. I'm gonna have a coffee, I'm gonna jump in the shower, and I'll get straight back to it in a bit. And anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please like it below, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Oh, and one other thing with that: when you're fighting this sister, obviously, how do you use as much power as you've got? But obviously, when she's doing the red thing, try to avoid her, unless you got your power, the shield thing. But you know, you want to try and hit her when she's coming at you, not the red thing, though. Only lock on when she's coming at you. Don't lock on when you're trying to get away from red, red stuff. What that power's meant to be. Because she was extremely difficult at first to beat. The powers, not nah, really that difficult. Alright, anyway, guys, take care. Peace out.